Uh, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco. Ooh, so guys, we're back here in this war where I'm fighting like two different fronts right now and it's really not making much of a difference. I'm just being mondo -y expansionistic. mondo -y expansionistic, I should say. And we're just kind of crushing everyone we can in a two mile per hour radius, whatever you want to consider. And it's great. <laughs> it's honestly pretty great. Like, there's like nothing they can do about it. I'm just like crushing them, and there's nothing they can do about it. I have too much power. Is <sighs> it's so great? All right. As we can see right now, though, the the Ethiopians are trying to fight back, which is admirable among themselves. But um, they will lose. Okay, they will lose, and I will win. It'll be a glorious day when I win this battle. Like. The day, the days will come where I will just completely and utterly destroy them, and they will be like, "What? How do you do that?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, I did it. I destroyed you all because I am the mighty and powerful emperor of who's my emperor right now? Oh, uh, Sultan Zakari the First of Matid. A terrible guy, but he has a ter he has a good ruler coming up, but has a terrible claim to the empire. Yeah." Okay, and then that 42 stack, I think I'm going to go have this 36 stack right here, just go kill these guys, that way I can get their army out of the way. Okay, and you guys, you guys are all smashing, smashy, smashy, all these guys, which is good. Go right in here, let's go get our cores up and ready. Alright, then go right there. Siege is over, siege is over. Go right there. Go right there, then go right there. Yeah, go right there. Alright. And. Okay, peaceful, peaceful. We won some battles. Good job. Yeah, it, this was over with already. You guys are all good. You guys are all good. Uh, I don't think there's any more battles over here. Just to make sure, I'm gonna go in a little bit. Because we wanna make sure, while we have the opportunity, we wanna make sure we explore some of this land. Okay, we want to make sure that we'll be able to destroy these guys in the future. We, I mean, we have to think long term. We can't just think small term. All right, core province. You guys go right there. Let's see. Is there anyone else? What? We didn't get one province. Shoot. Okay. It seems that the Ethiopians are trying to build up again. Wait, are they? Are they African tech? Oh my goodness, they're sub-Saharan tech. You, you guys stand no chance. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you absolutely have no chance of winning me, of winning these battles. I mean, I thought they were, I thought they were Muslim tech, so maybe they might stand a chance, but no. You guys is, you guys are basically cannon fodder right now. I, I can't even say like for a certainty. Oh, I hate this. I hate that event. Like, right there, I, I don't want to lose my, like, prestige points or admin points, and that just made me do that, so kinda, that kind of made me angry right there. Let's move up a little bit. Oh, man. She's just over with. Yeah, we're about to win all these battles. And by the way, can I get anything out of you guys? Yes, I could. So, Quala Kaleem, can I use you guys... Let's see, one, two, two right there. Hmm. Okay, if I, okay, so, if I really wanted to, I could, like, vassalize these guys and make them, yeah, but, actually, no, 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 wait, that'd actually be a terrible idea because I'm actually going to make another vassal out of somebody else, and I don't want that to happen. Leader Siege. Let's get some of these ideas going. Cause I've been like, I've been neglecting my ideas forever. I'm so happy to finally get my ideas. Yay. Okay. Let's see. You guys are almost done. You guys are basically almost done. I mean, there's not much to really hope for. And there's not really much for the Ethiopians to hope for in this war. Except just mass extinction of everything they know and love. And apparently Byzantium is even going to war with the Mamelukes. So you can tell this is basically a desperate war. There, there's not much they can really do to stop me. Uh, man. You know, it kind of makes me feel like kind of a 
again, this is this is when I I get cocky, but I also kind of get worrisome because I it makes me feel kind of feel bad because these guys can't really defend themselves. And if you guys heard this famous saying that mercy is a trait reserved for the strong, and I know I am strong, so I don't know. It, it just it's it's I'm just kind of thinking of that quote right now. It's just like it is true that the strong are the ones who are supposed to protect the weak and. Right now, I'm kind of not exemplifying that very much. I'm just kind of like showing off how big and powerful I am compared to them. And, man, that makes me feel like I'm being a jerk. I don't know why. It just makes me feel like, uh, like jerk status or something. So, let's cancel this vassalage again because I want to make sure I can do separate wars for all this. I don't have to wait. Um, we could also release Syria, which would also be good. I want to do that so that they become my vassal. And then... Um... If we could take those two, that basically divides them up even more. Um... Anything that we can return to cores? No. Morocco vassal, no. Yeah, I, just, I just don't want to do that, so let's do that, let's do that, yeah, you see that, hmm, can also squeeze out one of these, Ooh. you know, this is actually pretty good, like, this piece still right here, and then send demands, there we go, yeah, look at that, look at this beautiful empire we're going, we're creating right now. Alright, you guys instantly want my protection and vassalization. I'm going to give it to you guys. You guys are Western, shoot. <laughs> that kind of made me angry there for a second. Okay, okay. And you guys, I think you guys are all the same group. So I'm going to group you guys up. Uh, Molly people, go right here. Uh, you guys, you guys are the protectorate of, I think, this area. So you guys go right there. And then, like, you guys are all one unit, I remember that. So you guys go right there, and there we go. Two of my places are blockaded. Well, that ain't good. And I have tons of Diplo stuff I have to do now. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just make everything a core. And I'll deal with all the repercussions of it in a second. I know I will, but... It's for right now, we just divided the Mamluks even more. And this is not looking good for the rest of, like, Africa. At least in terms of the fact that they want to remain independent. I've... Ooh, benign neglect. If I tax it, you should give me more taxes. Seriously. My country is poor. We have absolutely no money at all. I mean, 4,000 is a good amount, but it does not beat an, an eternal, like, great thousand. So anyways, you guys get right here. Um, I don't know how you guys ended up with 40 units, but you know what, it's fine, because I would rather have this unit be slightly bigger than everything else, since it has my main general in it. Um, you guys go crush these Ethiopians. You you go crush these Ethiopians right here. So make sure we can kind of... Oh my goodness, they're about to escape. Go right there. I don't think they're going to make the Belgian... Oh, dang. Go right there. You guys go right there. And there we go. The second war for the independence is about to end. And yeah, Hedges wants to be out of this war. Let's see, is Hedges the leader of this war? No, they are not. So I could probably piece them out separately. What would I take from them, though? 30% trade power. Let's see, how close? Yeah, you guys won't be annexed in time. So yeah, just give me 30% of your trade power plus all your ducats. There we go. All you guys have to do, give me all your ducats and 30% of your trade power. I totally need it. Okay, and then you guys go right here. And now we have to start actually dealing with all this kind of stuff over here. Which I've been neglecting, benign neglect. Yeah. Like, all, all this rebellion stuff is probably going to have to not fly anymore because... Yeah, uh, I, I really don't like rebellion anymore, so... Everyone go right here, go to the last little province of the Ethiopians, as we all just swarm them. 
Oh gosh. Yes. Okay. And then for Ethiopia, let's see, what can we do with these guys? Release the nations of a doll. No. Uh, return the cores to Fiji. Could I Diplo annex Fuji? Is Fuji too dip diplomacy too much technologically advanced in them for me to do that? That kind of stinks. Could become the protectorate, which would be kind of cool, I guess. But. You know, I'm kind of thinking this, guys, but maybe, maybe we could use Fuji as a way of, like, getting all these cores. Yes. So, hmm. Yeah, I think I like that idea. I think what I'm going to do is actually break down Fuji a little bit so I can make them one of my vassals and then use them to go gain cores. Yeah. So that then I get all that side. Yes. So let me make sure... Let me make sure I do not take the provinces, so I cannot take any of these provinces. Because they'll give me, I'll be able to get these freely, so. Let's just take all of these. Okay, there we go. Let's go see, do I need to take 30% of the trade power? Or, let's see, do I need to take it? Jed. Nah, they're not even they're not even up there. I mean the Jed is the only other person that's really kind of annoying. But yeah, we basically own these guys. So I mean, this is this is gonna be so much aggressive expansion, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. So there we go. Send it. And let's start coring it. Yes, I know I overextension's a little bit high right now. Let's start coring it, get all my people into positions where they can all like fight. You seem a little bit big for you, so I'm gonna go fight you. Like, seriously, got self standing colonies, yes! Okay, and we finally, I think we're finally almost done with this. Like, we call this one. Yeah, we're almost done with this. Go send these guys over here. The last two provinces, and I finally got all of Africa over here. Oh, man. Yeah. Great day today, guys. We did so much progress in our conquest of Africa. Give me, and give me one second. Something's wrong with the scroller right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Give me one second, guys, to figure this out. Okay, so the problem basically fixed itself. As soon as I turned off Fraps, it all worked. So that's good. Now, over here, we're going to start hunting rebels. Over here, we're also going to start hunting rebels. Um, let's see where my armies are. Over here, we're going to start hunting rebels. Over here, we're going to start hunting rebels. Right over here, we're going to start hunting rebels. Uh, you guys are already hunting rebels. You guys don't have to go that far. I have enough people over there now. You guys go over there. only have three colonies going right now. Well, actually, four. I have four colonies going right now, which means, yes, almost there, we're almost done guys, we're so almost done, ignore them, I don't really care, it's not too big of a deal, I mean, no, can't really do that, salt crisis, claim from Castile, Castile, do you want to tango with me, because I'm pretty sure I'm still more advanced than you. I'm probably slipping just a little bit because of that, but yeah, I'm still, I'm matching you in tech right now. You should not be making me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Like, the big blue blob doesn't, don't really care about that. Look at the big gigantic Morocco. <laughs> Who's like, conquest are the work of legends of everyone. I mean, who would have guessed an, an African culture would have gotten this far in terms of conquest? I bet no one from Europe would have thought that. Okay, and we got our one little guy, so I'm gonna go send him right there. You guys are done. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, it's a full-fledged colony. And there we go, the last little piece, and there we go. We finally have all the northern part of all this place colonized, which is good. Because now I could actually start focusing on other stuff of colonization, if there's anything left. Which... Huh, 
Surprisingly, the Europeans haven't gotten to everything over here. I would have thought by now they would have, like, you know, taken it all, but... Eh, I mean, Russia's down here, but they're not really down here. There's still a lot of good land over here. Hmm. I might have to think about going in over there and go conquesting things. Well, man, from Iraq? Sure, you guys are now my buddies. Okay, and I feel like I have too many diplomatic relationships. Why do I feel like that? I'm at my limit, but... Let me see, is there anything I can get away with? Oh, Mongols. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, we're done. You, we are not... Can I cancel when we still have forces inside? Why are we still have forces inside the board? Oh my goodness. Why have you guys not come home yet? Why were you guys just sitting there? I don't... Oh, these guys must be a part of that army. That's why this army became all weird. I was like, why is this army kind of weird right now? Okay, the Mamelukes are now in the militaristic alliance against me. I figured that something like this would happen. Um, We just finished up another colony, so that's good. You guys... Are... They are allied with Hedges and the Mamelukes. Particularly, none of those guys are really strong enough to fight me. But, apparently, I will have to wait a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Anything I can do with you guys? No. <laughs> He's like, I can't because apparently they're allied, so I can't do anything, but yeah. Oh man, look at that. Look at that empire, man. Look at that empire. Okay, it seems like the Mongols are trying to reclaim the former glory. Uh, Burkistan just took a little bit out of whatever they were. Um, if you guys were a little bit more likely to become a vassal, I might accept you guys. Like, seriously. You just need to get, like, one province right here, and I'd be so happy to become your guys' friend. Like, instantly become best buds. Okay, we have, a. Uh, you can hire a free militaristic leader, so our great and mighty militaristic leader died. We should be able to produce some pretty good leaders right now. Like, seriously. So, let's see. Uh, 4131. One. That's pretty good. Let's see who, how our king and queen, our king and heir is. Eh, they're okay. I don't really want to deploy these two, but I'm just going to test them out. Because I wanted to see what I'd get, and they did pretty good. Uh, let's see. Make that last little quote right there. And, yeah, after that, I'm probably not going to have to, sp probably not going to have the ability to spend much. For a little bit. So let's go get this guy, because I want to keep about a 7-7 seven, seven balance in terms of all of our production right now, in terms of technology. Okay, you guys, I guess will just be a 42 stack. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to keep it like a 42 death stack, because I can't really get them over here. You guys, I guess it will be one big gigantic stack over here. And yeah, this is my army. How much, like, how big are we compared to the rest of the world? Are we now the top, or are we, like, close to the top? We beat Russia! Oh, yeah! Look at that, guys. We beat Russia by 9,000 troops. Burgundy by a little bit more, Sweden by a little bit more, France by a major lot, and Castile, you guys aren't even in my league anymore. Oh, man, it makes, that makes me feel kind of happy right now. Because we basically are the leaders now of the world. And let's see, Sat... Syria, we are hopefully doing all we can to make it our friend. Because we want these guys immediately underneath our wing before some other idiot, like, takes them. Because they're actually, they could actually be useful vassals. Like, seriously, these guys could be useful vassals. Let me also put these guys on auto hunt. So they make sure to go kill people that are against the state. Okay, you guys are going right there. You guys still hunt and there's one other person I have to also think about declaring war on are you guys allied with anyone no do you guys fancy me doing a core on you let's see who what am I doing right now in terms of uh, diplomats one diplomat coming back okay can I just declare war nope all right let's go start fabricating a claim I don't really care just get me a claim onto somewhere and <laughs> I think we know who our next target is, guys. I think we know who our next target is. And it is not the Mongols. If you were thinking the Mongols, or Mongols, as they also are called, it's not the Mongols. Uh, it's not them. 
it's just not them so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time